Okay, Brent, uh, what we're going to have you do uh, is just kind of play play the kit. I want you to, um, you know, hit, do some, a lot of times, uh, hit the cymbals, uh, hit the hi-hat, everything. Give me one second, though. I'm going to get get you to a spot on the tape where there's nothing there, so I'm going to check your levels, too. Give me a second, please. Record a test track just to see where the levels are hidden. You want the best level you can get without peaking. That's the no, secret of recording. The difference if you're recording tape sometimes. You, I mean, it's you, you could story. peak a little bit in, in tape for sure. Definitely a snare drum. They were they were hitting kick drum. They were hitting heavy for sure. Uh, but um, I, I don't talk to many people who are using tape. I got some reels yeah. back there if you want to. <laughs> if anybody wants to buy some, because uh, yeah, there was there a lot of advantages to tape, but there was a lot of disadvantages. I mean, I, I start cut my teeth on tape. I, I you know it took me. I was like kind of scared to even switch to digital, but I switched pretty early on in the game, like late 97, I switched completely mm -hmm. to digital when the stuff wasn't even like kind of, it was just barely, it was like a tight, uh, uh, like a little uh, uh, Volkswagen bug pulling a, a, a big trailer or something. It was just barely enough power to do what you had to do. You know what, I do take a little different approach with digital. I do tend to compress more than I would uh, with tape because tape tend, uh, had uh, uh, saturation, it compressed on its own. Uh, with digital, it doesn't, so I like to run it through old, these are all from the 70s, everything here, so these are all old uh, compressors that uh, just kind of uh, uh, even out the sound, because digital is so transient, there's just so many peaks in it that you definitely want to get rid of them on drums, so, like something for drums, for sure, you need to tone the peaks down a little bit so you can get the biggest level, the most possible level, so when, when especially something like a, a heavy metal band, it's really hard to get the drums to cut through, so you need the best level you have possible, and and a lot of, a lot of uh, like a little bit more high end on some of the kicks and snares and stuff like that to to, to make it pop. And the outboard gear is is the thing that make that you can you that makes it. You can use it later, but I just it just uh, I just think it sounds better the outboard gear. Still, I mean, there's uh, I, I like UAD. I'm a big fan of of all their stuff, and they make emulations of almost all this stuff too. What do you think of the MG? How, how close do they come? They're getting they're getting pretty close. Drums they're not as good. Vocals are they're good. They sound good on vocals. Guitars they don't do anything for. But uh, you know, uh, to me I don't like them on guitars. Bass nah, nothing doesn't doesn't do it for me. Uh, vocals are great. Uh, drums they're okay, ish on a kick drum no, it's not good. Not as good as that. Uh, uh, they actually UAD just came out with that uh, DBX 160. I'm interested to hear it on, but uh, I would uh, you can always, you know, compress. Just touch it a little bit with the compressor and then add more later. And compression and EQ are the most important thing about recording, especially drums because they're so dynamic. It, unless it's like a jazz band, you don't need to really compress that too much. They're not hitting it too hard. It, it's just so dynamic too because mm -hmm. they're and then they you know wail on it. So I mean, it, 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 that's part of their sound. If you look at a jazz record, like a, the the two track of it on a waveform, you can see like there's actual dynamics. You look at a pop record, rock metal, boom! It's a big block. That's all it is. So you have to. It's like metal to me is like uh, uh, recording a NASCAR or something because it's just a wall of sound that you have to try to just contain as much as possible. This you're not going to have as much problem with this uh, uh, this record. It's an acoustic rock record. You're not going to have that much problem hearing the drums. You actually kind of have to duck them under a little bit. We're going to record a little bit, and I'm going to take a look at the levels. Uh, I'm ready. Just go ahead and record whatever you want. Oh, yeah, the kick drum is a little too hot right now. Looking at it. There, it could go up. And I'm using uh, the output of the compressors now at this point for the kick and snare. There you go. That's a pretty nice level right there. Okay, now give me some of the floor time, too, please. All the levels. 
look good. Okay, just give me a regular beat, please. All right, great. We're ready. That's uh, that's it. We're ready on the drums. We're ready to go. Move on to bass. Bezel. <laughs> 